Before we begin, I just wanted to say the following. My equipment and room acoustics will be different to yours, so the sound might slightly differ. And sound is a subjective and personal experience. That out of the way, let us begin. Hi, I'm going to be talking about the Macintosh MP100 Phono preamp. Founded in 1949, Macintosh is known for offering high quality home audio systems that delivered in music and film. From the vision of Frank Macintosh, he had an aim to build better amplifiers. He wanted to challenge what was believed possible. Together with Gordon Gow, they designed the Unity Coupled Circuit. And with the assistance of Sidney Corderman, who joined Macintosh in 1951, of Head of Research Engineering and Development, they helped establish Macintosh as a leader in high quality audio performance. The company moved to Binghampton in 1951 to a second floor of an existing building. As the company grew, Macintosh built their own building and have remained in Binghampton ever since. Macintosh products have been handcrafting their products for decades at their factory by their dedicated employees who share a passion for hi-fi. Since the start, Macintosh have been powering some of the most important moments in music history and pop culture, from President Lyndon Johnson to Woodstock and the famous Gateful Dead, where it's a wall of Macintosh sound. Fast forward to today, Macintosh offer a range of products. The Macintosh design is known for its iconic blue and output meter and its green lit up logo, which is widely globally recognized. With that introduction into Macintosh, I'm going to give you my thoughts on the Macintosh MP100 Phono Preamp. The MP100 has that classic Macintosh look to it. The glass panel and the green lights. Like I've said in previous videos, Macintosh changed the look, but they still keep that uniformity to their products. So they can still match the old to the new, and I just love that. The MP100 retails for around 2,000 in the US, 3,000 pounds in the UK, and here in Oz, it retails for around 4,000. Now, the MP100 comes with balanced and unbalanced outputs with both MM and MC outputs. It also has two digital outputs as well, optical and coax. They have made sure not to leave anything out. And on the topic of outputs, they have also added a USB type B connection. So while you're someone who probably enjoys their vinyl records on your turntable, which is always nice, if you're someone who likes to make a digital version of your vinyl records, it has that USB type B output on the back. The digital outputs on the back are 96 kilohertz by 24 bit, which is more than enough of a bitrate to capture your recordings. Now, if you're recording an album to your PC, the MP100 has a clipping indicator, which will flash if the song has loud moments. And if that's the case, you can lower the digital output in order to produce better recordings, AKA distortion free. Now, one other feature that they added was a mono button. So you can listen to that recording in mono. If you don't have a dedicated mono stylus, you might be able to use this. The unit also has the RIAA equalization, which I just love. So as I said before, Macintosh have left nothing out. The power connection is a figure eight, AKA IEC C7 connection. I always like to change the power cables to my hi-fi components, but that's just me. The connections on the back are gold plated, which is fantastic, and it's just awesome to see, and it's really well built. It's a sturdy and quality built unit with nice clearance. Now, how does it sound? Now, I'm going to say this, straight off the bat, clean and has really nice clarity. And did I mention it was clean? Wow. It definitely has detail, and if you're wanting a sonic, dynamic, over-the-top, exaggerated sound, no, this isn't your unit. It's a clean, fresh, detailed unit. It's not a soft sound, but it's not harsh either. 
If you're a tube lover and you like that softer sound, this may not be the sound for you. However, it's clarity and clean sounding and it's very nice. But some people might even say, look, Macintosh has its own sound. It has that Macintosh sound. And with this unit, they have balanced it really well. Because if you don't, it could come across quite clinical. And that's not the case here because it still has a musical feel to it. And the great thing about a decent phono preamp like the Macintosh MP100, what stylus you choose can also alter that sound a little bit too. When you get into this price range, this unit will be, be sounding enough to notice those changes from the stylus. And that's the fun about hi-fi, mixing and matching your components to get it to the sound you like. And that's what's fun about hi-fi, it's there to be enjoyed. And I really like this unit. Quality is fantastic. And my wife went through her records. She was throwing quite a few records on and she absolutely loved the Macintosh MP100. Now, this was a purchase she really wanted and we got the Macintosh MP100. Basically, a bit of a purchase without actually hearing it and it hasn't disappointed at all and i remember when i worked in hi-fi when i went to get a macintosh i said oh do i need to hear it they went it's a macintosh it'll be fine you don't need to hear it because it'll sound good <laughs> he was right it did sound fantastic so look i'm going to put more specs below in the description and that's it for me i'm i'm really happy with this unit it's here to stay as i said we we purchased it without actually listening to it and it didn't disappoint and i will say our other gear is macintosh and we currently run a autophon lvb 250 stylus at some point we will go to an mc but for now this one is doing the job but look at this stage it sounds fantastic i'm really happy with it but look, that's it from me. I would love a subscribe and a like. And you can also find me on Instagram. And I also have podcasts as well where we talk movies. And that gets uploaded to Spotify and Apple Podcast as well. But look, thanks for joining me. And I'll see you next time.